Hey guys, just going to bang together a little video on what kind of spare parts and tools we're taking on our big lap of Australia. Um, I probably go a little bit over the top compared to some people. Um, and then compared to others, I'm, I'm, I'm probably a bit of a minimalist. Um, basically, I can fit everything I need into that tub. That's all my tools and my spare parts and my service items. Um, so I'll give you a quick look at what we got. First up, uh, all spark lithium jump pack this thing's brilliant i've had that for a couple of years that's from off-road living they're really good that's a wa company um so support them guys uh spare fluid i'm taking some 1540 five liters of it there now i'll use that obviously in the engine but I, I, if i'm in a pinch i'll also use that in diffs um, transfer case transmission it doesn't really matter it's it's better than running something dry i'd bang that in no questions asked um a decent bottle jack i'm using a 4000 kilo or four ton bottle jack there. The factory ones that come with the car just aren't up to the task once you start adding all your accessories and your weight. I take an impact driver and a drill, which has currently got a bit in it for the uh, wind down legs on the van. I've obviously got a facility to charge those in my canopy. Uh, and a set of gloves so you don't get your precious hands dirty. Right, in the box, where we got intercooler hoses, both of them. Uh, radiator hoses, top, bottom, and some heater hose. Got some spare electrical cable. Uh, and then I've got a little gas soldering iron and some electrical bits and pieces and some solder if I need to repair anything electrical. For that soldering iron, I've got some butane to fill that up. I also use this to fill my thermocell. So two purposes there. I've got a box of miscellaneous nuts and bolts, tech screws, uh, all sorts of crap there. Some fencing wire. This is actually stainless steel wire, but it does the same job. That's your main drive belt there. That's a brand new one. Um, that's for your water pump and your alternator. So if that goes, you know, your car cooks. So I definitely need a spare belt there. That's just an old uh, aircon belt I've replaced. All it drives is the aircon, so if it breaks, it's not the end of the world. Um, but I've got this spare that'll get me by. She's pretty worn out, but it'll do the job till I get to the next town. That's a spare aw uh, awning bracket for my 30 second awning. I had one, so you might as well bring it. Some steel welds. So this is that um, sort of putty stuff that hardens to steel when you mix it in your hand. So that's great for repairing, uh, you know, cracked diffs or sump or something like that. SOS tape, that's a self amalgamating tape that you can wrap around intercooler hoses or radiator hoses and stuff like that. Spare radiator cap. A heap of hose clamps there. Some fuses for the car. Some different fuses. I've got a couple of different sizes in the car. A heap of spare shackles and R clips and pins and stuff. Some spare wheel nuts that'll fit the, uh, the the car. I've also got some spare ones for the caravan. That's a spare hub for the car. That's the original one in case I break one of those manual locking hubs. Got a bearing seal, some castle nuts, some spare studs and wheel nuts for the caravan. Spare wheel bearings there for the van. One spare wheel bearing there for the car. Some high temp bearing grease to do the wheel bearings. Some grinding discs. And then there's a service kit in here. So there's an oil filter. Um, that's the secondary fuel filter, the factory fuel filter, and a cabin filter underneath there as well, so I can do a, a full service on the car there if I have to. Some bar oil for the chainsaw. Thread lock, don't leave home without that, guys. Some WD-40. Couple of tubes of silicon, some clear and some white for repairing leaks on the van or wherever. Can also use that as like a gasket goo if you're in a pinch, but I do take a tube of um, RTV silicon gasket maker. Um, I won't go through the whole tool bag, but basically you've got your, 
your normal sort of hand tools, a corking gun, a grinder, a multimeter, um, electrical tape, gaffer tape, thread tape, um, zip ties, uh, chainsaw sharpening tool, pliers, side cutters, um, needle nose pliers, circuit pliers, um, hammers, spanners, sockets, uh, everything really, just your normal hand tools. Um, also, if you've got a DO35, that's the tool to get them on and off, so I pack that. I've got the steel chainsaw sharpening um, rail, that thing's really good. I'm not using a steel saw anymore, I'm using the AEG electric saw, which I've packed. Um, but that uh, sharpener works well on that too. And that is basically it. Um, I carry four spares, that's two for the car and two for the van. I also carry a tyre plug kit in the car. Obviously on top of this we still pack recovery gear, we've got a winch, um, snatch straps, uh, tree protectors, raided shackles, pulley blocks, uh, max tracks, shovels, all that kind of good gear. Also pack a fire extinguisher, one in the car and one in the van. Uh, interesting little tip, I think someone dropped a comment on one of my previous videos, he was a career firefighter I think, um, and he said that when you're storing your uh, or fixing your fire extinguishers in your vehicle or whatever, to always mount them sideways, um, not upright, which I've done in the past. You stop it from compacting into the bottle, um, so they last longer or work more efficiently or whatever it is, so I didn't know that one. That's about it, guys. That's pretty much everything we need to get us through in a pinch.